This is the day that the Lord has made. We have chosen to rejoice and be glad in it. This is Commencement Morning at Tennessee State University. Good morning, fall class of 2020. Good morning to the master's students, the special students, the doctoral students. Good morning, family, friends, and the TSU Tiger family. Good morning to our undergraduate students. Welcome to the Fall 2020 Commencement Ceremony at Tennessee State University, this virtual celebration. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students at Tennessee State University, it is my distinct honor and privilege to extend a heartfelt congratulations. I applaud you for having reached this extraordinary milestone. It doesn't matter how long it took you, whether it took you six semesters or six years, you are here today among those who are graduating. Because we know the race has never been given to the swift, neither is it given to the strong, but to him, but to her who endure to the end. You have endured. We honor your sacrifices you have made. We honor the obstacles you have overcome. You have multiplied your talents. You have increased your resources. You have prayed and you have stayed. You are anointed and you are equipped. You have boldly soared to new heights you had never experienced. Today is only a stepping stone and we should honor this moment as we move into our new lives, lives where we serve others. You've sacrificed time with your families. You have worked long hours. You have lost sleep. You have postponed vacations. Some have even neglected friends for this honor. So today, we salute you. Today, we honor you for having reached a significant moment. For tomorrow, you step into that advanced TSU world as the servant leaders you have been trained to be, servant leaders. Today, we pray that you go forth and be calm. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. That future is now. That hope is now. I now call on the Reverend Frank Stevenson, who is Dean of Students and Associate Vice President for Student Affairs to bring us the invocation. Would you bow with me now? in a space of meditation and prayer. God, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you for how you continue to bless our graduates. We pray right now, God, your blessing over this ceremony. We pray your peace over our country. We pray, God, your divine direction. What is your son name we pray, amen. Greetings, Tiger family, and congratulations to my fellow classmates, the graduating class of 2020. I am Julian Dooley, the head drum major of the Tennessee State University Aristocrat Advance. Lo and behold, we arrived at the land of golden sunshine at varying times from eclectic places, all for the very same reasons that is celebrated on today, our collegiate degrees. This degree should be held to the highest regard now more than ever, especially with the current conditions of the world. Regardless of those conditions, we are testaments of strong individuals who have proved that those conditions do not define who we are and where we are meant to go. We still made it to this historic achievement. We successfully walked the path that is designed to get us that closer to creating the world we want to live in. For me, my plan is to allow my musical ability and knowledge to add value to the lives of others. The degree I am receiving is a Bachelor's of Science in Commercial Music. I hope you appreciate this short piece I prepare for you titled Escalando by Jamie Zinnemann.
Thank you very much and congratulations. Greetings from the great city of Savannah, Georgia. I'm WSAV TV News anchor Tina Taya Shaw, Tennessee State University class of 1986. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've done the work, you've kept the faith, you've given it your all, and now your hard work is paying off. The world awaits your genius, your heart, your grit, and your vision. TSU has prepared you for the next chapters of your lives. As I navigate a career of more than 30 years in the television news business, I have fond memories of my days on campus and the people who helped shape me into who I am today. And oh, I will never forget Dr. Karen Brown Dunlap. She was one of my biggest cheerleaders and the mentor who breathed life into my dream of becoming a TV news anchor. And look, here I am. None of it would have been possible without my beloved TSU. This is your time, class of 2020. Let your light shine in the world. Keep loving our TSU and just watch how TSU loves you back. Again, congratulations. Ms. Yamishi Alcindor is the White House correspondent for the PBS NewsHour and a contributor for NBC News and MSNBC. She often tells stories about the intersection of race and politics. At PBS, she has directly questioned President Trump a number of times on a range of issues, including the disproportionate impact of the coronavirus on black people and communities of color, the protest following the death of George Floyd, and the consequences of President Trump's immigration policies. She has also traveled extensively for her beat, including to places like Belgium, for the 2018 North Atlantic Treaty Organization meeting, to Helsinki, Finland, as President Trump met with Russian President Vladimir Putin, and to McAllen, Texas, to chronicle life on the border of the United States and Mexico, and the impact of President Trump's family's separation policy. As a contributor for NBC News and MSNBC, she often appears on a number of shows, including Morning Joe, Andrea Mitchell reports, and Meet the Press with Chuck Todd. Previously, Alcindor worked as a national political reporter for the New York Times, where she covered the political campaigns of Mr. Trump and Senator Bernie Sanders, as well as Congress. She also wrote about the impact of President Donald Trump's policies on working class people and people of color. Before joining the Times, she was a national breaking news reporter for USA Today, where she traveled across the country to cover stories including the school shootings in Newton, Connecticut, the death of Trayvon Martin in Sanford, Florida, and the police-related protest in Ferguson, Missouri, and Baltimore, Maryland. In 2020, the White House Correspondents Association named Alcindor the recipient of the Aldo Beckman Award for overall excellence in White House coverage. And the National Association of Black Journalists named her Journalist of the Year. She has also been honored with the Gwen Ifill Next Generation Award by Simmons University. Alcindor earned a master's degree in broadcast news and documentary filmmaking from New York University and a bachelor's in English, government and African-American studies from Georgetown University. A native of Miami, Florida and married to a fellow journalist she is the daughter of Haitian immigrants who met while attending Boston College. TSU family, please welcome our fall 2020 commencement speaker, Miss Yamishi Alcindor. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it. You earned your degrees. You strived. You thrived. You made it. Amid this trying, terrible, and historic year, you earned a degree at Tennessee State University. What an accomplishment as we all struggle through this year. To the graduates, thank you for allowing me to share this time with you as you receive your degree and begin this new phase in your life. To President Glover, to the faculty and staff at TSU, thank you for trusting me with this incredible opportunity to share some words with this amazing group of hardworking graduates. And thank you to the, all the people who supported the class of 2020, including the moms, the dads, 
the grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and of course, special friends. They had your back. And this day is also a celebration of not just you, but your entire village. It is a great honor to be invited to deliver this keynote address when so much has been upended this year. I would have loved to be in Tennessee with you all, cheering you as you each picked up your degree. But know that your accomplishment is just as remarkable, just as important as we gather virtually. Rest assured today, as you receive your degrees, you are already your ancestors' wildest dreams. Continue to strive and walk in that reality. Let me start by stating the obvious. 2020 has been awful. Globally, nationally, personally, full stop. That said, many around this country are celebrating the historic win of President-elect Joe Biden, who got more votes than any presidential candidate in history, and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, the first woman, first black person, first Asian American, and first graduate of historically black college and university, and the first member of the Divine Nine, a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, to become VP-elect. But there are also millions of Americans who are mourning the loss of President Trump losing the election, who believe without evidence his false claims that the election was stolen. And millions of Americans are suffering from the impact of a pandemic that has killed more than 250,000 Americans and affected some 12 million Americans. And we all had to witness the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Minnesota on May 25th after a white police officer kneeled on his neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds. Now that the nation is going through a racial reckoning, we're all looking at all of the different ways that we can do our part to strive for equality. Yes, this, but yet despite all that we've endured in 2020, this year has also led to some of the most consequential and important conversations in a generation. So what does it mean to truly be an American? Does the country really wanna live up to the promises it's made to be equal, to treat people equally? And how do folks, especially myself and graduates like you, stay lifted and focus on our personal joy and our resolve to do what's right? For me, it's about finding your purpose and being resolved in your life's mission. And really, it comes down to three things. Pursue your life's passion and purpose. Stay the course no matter the setbacks. Do the right thing even when no one is looking. Pursue your life's passion and purpose. On the first, as a White House correspondent for PBS NewsHour, interested in civil rights, my life's passion is holding people accountable and giving voice to those who may never walk into the White House. That's why I don't shy away from posing tough questions, whether I'm questioning the president or a presidential candidate. So the question is, what is inspiring you? What do you cry about that others don't cry about? What do you stress over that others overlook? What could you focus on every day for the rest of your life and still feel fulfilled? Get hungry for that thing and pursue it with fervor. Make a career out of doing that thing, that thing that drives you. Also, stay the course no matter the setbacks. Staying the course means giving yourself time to develop. Because I was a journalist, but before I was a journalist and before I became a journalist, I worked at McDonald's, I was a telemarketer, I worked at a leather store in Miami. I was a helper at class reunions in South Florida. Maybe you're graduating without a job or without the job you thought you would get. Maybe you're graduating with a lot of student loans um, and you're anxious about what comes next. I am here to tell you, give yourself space to develop and focus on putting one foot in front of the other. And even if you're graduating into what might be your dream job, brace for it. When I started my career in journalism, the setbacks came pretty quickly and they will come for you too. I know many of you have probably watched the president call me nasty or my question racist or call me threatening. I pushed forward and so can you because I have news for you. Each of you will experience moments where people will challenge the very premise of your existence and your pursuits. Maybe an editor will tell you like one told me that you just don't look confident enough to do the job. Maybe someone will criticize your career choices, condemn who you choose to love, or demean your cultural background. I say press forward, stay the course, drown out the noise, and go forward despite the hurdles. And 
do the right thing even when no one is looking. This advice comes down to what the late Congressman John Lewis called good trouble. He penned uh, an op-ed in the New York Times that was published on the day of his funeral, and he said in part, when you see something that is not right, you must say something. You must do something. Ordinary people with extraordinary vision can redeem the soul of America by getting in what I call good trouble, necessary trouble. Journalism is my good trouble. I implore you to find yours. You might be the only black person in a, in a boardroom at a tech firm or the only person of color in a newsroom, or maybe the only person from a rural town in a big city law firm. Speak up. Don't be afraid to let your experiences allow you to make the places where you're blessed to be better. Do what is right. And with that, the class of 2020, as you begin your career shaping the world through discovering your own life's work, think of the words of the great TSU alum, Oprah Oprah Winfrey. Everybody has a calling and your real job in life is to figure out as soon as possible what that is, who you were meant to be, and to begin to honor that in the best way possible for yourself. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go out and find your life's purpose. Do what's right. Stay the course. Ms. Yamichi, I send a climb. On behalf of the entire TSU family, thank you for your thought-provoking words for our graduates. We also thank you for being a beacon of truth as a journalist in your efforts to inform us all on the newsworthy matters, both domestic and foreign. Thank you very much. God bless you. Good day, graduates. I'm excited about your graduation. My name is Don Harden. I'm a graduate of 1990 from the School of Engineering, Architectural Engineering in particular. TSU was a wonderful experience for me. It set me off to the career I've had thus far. Uh, I expect it will do the same for you. You have to assert yourself. You have to be excited. You have to get out and, and do what you can, do what you're trained to do, and learn as much as you can. You're going to be successful make sure of it but you have to put the work in and be excited about what you do each and every day but for now congratulations we wish you the best of success in all that you do present the recipient of the university's Academic Excellence Award, which is presented to the student who is graduating with the highest honors, summa cum laude. The fall 2020 recipient is Mr. Jason Asher. Mr. Archer, due to your extraordinary academic performance, summa cum laude, it is indeed an honor for me to present you with the University's Student Academic Excellence Award. Congratulations and best wishes as you continue your career and educational aspirations. President Glover, on behalf of the faculty, deans, and department heads, the candidates for the university's commencement ceremony will now be presented to you for consideration of degrees. President Glover, I present Dr. Shardar Reddy, Dean of the College of Agriculture, who will present candidates from the college for degrees. President Glover, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Agriculture, it's my distinct pleasure and honor to present these candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree, and they are presented to you now for the degree 
Thank you, Dean Reddy. President Glover, I present Dr. Millicent Lound Jackson, Dean of the College of Business, who will present candidates for that college for degrees. President Glover, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Business, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to recommend these candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration degree. They are presented to you now for the degree. Thank you, Dean Laos Jackson. President Glover, I present Dr. Jerry Haynes, Dean of the College of Education, who will present candidates for that college for degrees. President Glover, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Education, it is with my distinct pleasure and honor to recommend these candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree, and they are presented to you now for the degree. Thank you, Dean Hayes. President Glover, I present Dr. Keith Hargrove, Dean of the College of Engineering, who will present candidates from that college for degrees. President Glover, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Engineering, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to recommend these candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree, and they are presented to you now for the degree. Thank you, Dean Hargrove. President Glover, I present Dr. Ron Barreto, Dean of the College of Health Sciences, who will present candidates from that college for degrees. President Glover, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Health Sciences, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to recommend these candidates for the Bachelor of Science and Associate of Applied Sciences degrees. And they are presented to you now for the degrees. Thank you, Dean Barreto. President Glover, I present Dr. Samantha Morgan Curtis, Interim Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, who will present candidates from that college for degrees. President Glover, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Liberal Arts, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to recommend these candidates for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies, Bachelor of Professional Studies and the Bachelor of Science degrees. And they are presented to you now for those degrees. Thank you, Dean Morgan Curtis. President Glover, I present Dr. Nolan McMurray, Interim Dean of the College of Life and Physical Sciences, who will present candidates from that college for degrees. President Glover, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Life and Physical Sciences, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to recommend these candidates for the Bachelor of Science degrees, and they are presented to you now for their degrees. Thank you, Dean McMurray. President Glover, I present Dr. Elizabeth Williams, Interim Dean of the College of Public Service, who will present candidates from that college for degrees. President Glover, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Public Service, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to recommend these candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree, and they are presented to you now for the degree. Thank you, Dean Williams. Thank you to all of our academic deans, and I invite you to join me in the conferring of degrees. By the authority vested in me, by the state of Tennessee, through the Tennessee State University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended of all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. To signify your acceptance of this honor, all undergraduates, will you now move your tassel from right to left? Congratulations. And now for the College of Agriculture. Marcy Anthony, Willie Starks Avery, Cordero Blade, Tyranny Blaylock, Jacob Miles Bobinger, Ashley Leanne Brooks, Michael Crawford, Erica Robin Davis, Micah Davis Bowen, Brittany Goddard, Maya Trevise Harley, Demetria Hayes, Mackenzie Dawn Humphrey, 
Najah Jackson, Andrew Harrison Jones, Paige Tanae Lampkin, Ladasia Martin, Tia McDonald, Ebony Meeks, Andrea Tyshawn Patton, Penny Payne, Amaya Powell, Brianna Sanders, Wanya Ladarius Smith, Hunter Lee Thrasher, Adam Mohammed Traor, Alexis Webb, Cami Vanessa West, Kaylin Wiggins, Michelle Danielle Williams, Deja Wimberly. And now for the College of Business. Alexis Akins, Zoman Al-Tamimi, Mohammed Abdulaziz Ajalan, Abdulaziz Mohammed Al-Qadani, Mustafa Al-Sadek, Catherine Gray Appleton, Carlton Baker, Elijah Joseph Baker, Sierra Brown, Felicia Cook, Kendall Tayana Cooper, Ashlyn Davis, Austin Aaron Epperson, Paula George, Michael Da Vinci Grady, Shad Haji, Corian Keandre Hall, Jasmine Gabriel Harmon, Noel Harris, Darius Haynes, Tierney Kershay Henry, Rihanna Bernice Hollingshed, Julian Holloman, Asiana Selena Holloway, Melody Ariel Holmes, Zachary Miller Horn, Ravond Ibrahim, Milad Isam Ibram, D'Antonio Johnson, John Tavius Kelly, Marlies Kirillos, Sydney Mackall, Charity Manning, Taylor Matthews, Logan McClellan, Jaquan McKinstry, Abdurham Muhammad, Kiara Morgan, Dinah Mosa, Pishoy Musa, Adeline Muhoza. Erica O'Kane, Timothy Osborne, Reginald Perry, Raji Raji, Jonathan Reed, Miles Braxton Rivers, Shante Janelle Roach, Gerard Antonio Roll Stewart, Jason Ross, Wali Sawat Sabir, Manal Sultan Salman, Jonathan Michael Savage, Brandon James Shannon, Aaliyah Simmons, Tyler Sprewell, Brian Stabler, Drew Swope, Joy Janae Tate, Justin Thompson, Tamija Tillman, Reginald Ray Townsend, Franklin Verone, Naya Waltroff, Saija Warren, Destiny Washington, Michael Chazen Williamson, Brandy Wilson, Brittany Nicole Wilson, Heather Wilson, Chanel Renee Worthen, Rodney Marshall Zachary. And now for the College of Education. Mylinta Anthony, Nigel Denise Bowers, Diamond Dean Ann Brown, Kaya Ray Kane, Kenneth Bernard Carter, Makari Zinga Craig, Jocelyn Gonzalez, Charles Gooden, Olivia Victoria Goolsby, Christina Hanna, Amari Jackson, 
Destiny Tyshana Jackson Daniels, Gabrielle Kennedy, Zoe Alexandria Lancaster, Jada Sierra Means, Diamond Miller, Kamara Morton, Helena Moss, Nicholas Murdick, Jade Newborn, Deja Jashari Aruru, Richard Palmer, Brandy Tiana Patterson, Kiana Lachey Patton, Brandon Pearl, Donica Ladesia Fenisi, Bria Sager, Miracle Scott, Rakaya Talia Smith, Raven Smith, Erica Spicer, Marnique Turner, Devon Cherie Walls, Catherine Washington, Raven Sandria Watson, Alexandria Williams, Madison Williams, Jamia Nasha Yadel. And now for the College of Engineering. Khalid Abuida, Ashton Sultan Habi, Abad Nasib, Shima Majid Al Nasser, Yazid Ajalin, Khalid Al Asim, Salim Rashid Al Nasari, Khalid Al Gamdi, Yazid Al Gamdi, Shaji Ahadasan, Faisal Ajek Aharbi. Walid Muhammad Ahadi, Ghassan Ahomdi, Satan Alanzi, Hassan Abdullah Alasim, Ali Saeed Al Katani, Omar Muhammad Asadi, Raid Salem Absadi, Moshen Asamara, Fahad Al Wasafer, Kate Isi Amati, Kendall Lauren Anderson, Alexander Raymond Arvizu. Fadi Bassam, Abdullah Hashan Basandu, Kyle Wesley Blizzard, Pedrick Bonds, Javon Jordan Boston, Courtney Bramlett, Travis Broad, Christopher Cooper, Michael Ryan Doyle, Timothy Filson, Hayden Brooks Forrester, Kane Garrison, Mina George, Adrian Ghazi, Julian Goodman, Kanan Hart, Brendan Schuyler Henry, Daniel Mikhail Ishak, Calvin Kennedy Jordan II, Brianna Kemp, Naziro Omer Khanna, Jerry Kibbett, Ashley Denise Killebrew, Reem Magdalwia, Andrea McCarter, Hatan Abdulatif Mibari, Peter Malik, Arman Ifani Motadel, Imel Nasa Nasser, Austin Randolph, Jordan Simone Rose, Amir Rufail, Ives Saikam, Michael Joseph Smith, Joshua Marshall Stokely, Tamarcus Lashan Summers, Merit Tenuous, Jamie Marcel Wilson, Justin Chauncey Young. And now for the College of Health Sciences. Omar Alanazi, Fahad Majid Al Kamisi, Jaren Allen, Abdurrahman Rashid Al Mutieri, Allah Abdullah Asihati. Ahmed Monsieur Asalami, Deshaun Anderson, Leslie Bailey, Stephanie Benson, Brooklyn Blue, Mallory Lois Booker, Christopher Quintel Bryant, Burundi Christopher Lee Buggs, Alexia Cartwright, Christina Marie Clausen, Nyla Clement, Alyssa Simone Cleveland, Cassandra Ellen Cloudis, K.C. Cooper, Sierra Davis, Deidre Davis, Megan Davis, 
Simone Dawson, Sabrina Elena Dijon, Nayla Abdulila Dili, Destiny Dor, Kalisha Wilney Drew, Caitlin Dumman, Hannah Danielle Earhart, Lavincia Estina Eccles, Arteria Lachey Edmond, Zaria Evans, Nayara Farley, Kaylin Fields, Tavares Rondell Fitz, Alex Fleming, Alexis Fortson, Lindsey Joe Frizzell, Charles Gordon, Nasia Antonise Griffin, Marge Hampton, Robin Hanna, Skylar Harris, Tori Sue Hart, Rachel Herndon, Kimberly Jean Holland, Terry Vassar Howell, Marina Ibrahim, Joshua Jackson, Akana Jacox, Kyla Dene Jamar, Devon Johnson, Taylor Jones, Georgisha Kelly, Peyton Kelly, Brittany Nicole Kennedy, Kasiana Sheree Kinsey, Zenith Knapp, Camille Lee, Anton Macram, Jasmine Martinez, Shaquillian Dykel Mayberry, Summer Lee Mayo, Takara Chantel McLeod, Jennifer Mendiola Molina, Cara Mickens, Diamond Miller, Taylor Nicole Montgomery, Keyshawn Moore, Jordan Morris, Malika Moss, Lauren Michelle Nash, Jacqueline Newton, Warren Trevon Olden, Cecilia Halima Palatino, Destin Palmer, Sarah Elizabeth Parsons, Joseph Racine, Taquasia Kanayi Reed, Abigail Renee Rees, Burnett Michelle Renee, Elliot Ronald Riddle, Rashid Ross, Rakendra Savant Austin, Tabitha Sims, Kyra Singleton, Jacqueline Sledge, Sydney Smith, Alisa Smoot, Veronica Summers, Willis D'Angelo Taylor, Samerte Tiku, Desiree Walker, Kiara Walker, Bradley Patrick Wallace, Uria Gladi Warren, Brianna Nicole Webb, Malik Akil White, Zion White, Amanda Whitaker, Derek Leon Wilcox II, Angela Wilson, Maggie Wingfield, Kendra Lachey Yorkley, Joshua Young. And now for the College of Liberal Arts. Jalen Kyrie Alexander, Jason Asher, Rachel Barber, Daryl Bell, Major Bellamy, Jalen Denise Bester, Olivia Bohannon, Atia Boston, Consuelo Bounds, Cambria LaShawn Boyd, Elliot Bright, Brittany Brooks, Brooke Brown, Charles Burns, Demetria Burns, Quentin Alexander Burton, Tatiana DeShay Butler, Grace Carter, Tramia Clayton, Samantha Clevenger, Latrell Klein, Kristen Cooper, Anita Charlotte Covington, Frederick Walden Crittenden, Adrian Croft, Sydney Dion Daniels, Taylor Dickey, Jameer Dillard, 
Lamar Dibbins, Julian Dooley, Jason Duncan, Rodney Edwards, Emmanuel Ibuta, Miranda Bell Foley, Esther Foster, Jessica Renee Gary, Kylan Gray, Mason Alexander Green, Maya S. Gurley Claybrook, Trinity Hampton, Autumn Renee Harding, Rayshawn Lanique Haynes, Brandon Lee Heston, Yasmeen Heston, Alicia Hinton, Darnie's Books, Bryant Howard, Sydney Hunt, Halimo Hussein, Cassie Jackson, Julian Jackson, Malik James, Kayla Marie Johnson, Lacey Jones, Shamario Dion Jones, Ronald Kimmons, Harry Mack Knox, Daniel Coles, Chanel Lake, Tranisha Lee, Ariana Legs, Tyra Lewis, Michael Darion Littlejohn, Brian Mack, Kiara Mack, Olivia Malone, Tiambria Malone, Edina Manley, Amber Nicole McCroskey, Kayla Robin McDowell, Kent Melbourne, Tawana Mitchell, Alexis Mural, John Paul Nashwat, Stephen Nubo, Kaia McCamille Norfleet, Emmanuel Olenga, Kyle Oliver, Marquisha Palmer, Brandy Tiana Patterson, Uriah Lashonda Pennyman, Mark Peterson, Devin Lee Pride, Wimberly Robinson, Seth Rowland, Stephanie Sayi, Kristen Haley Scott, Sydney Shelton, Romeo Sims, Kiwan Slayton, Justin Smith, Jacob Evans Snow, Rachel Summers, Abu Amar Swafford, Halmat Tayyip, Candice Sierra Taylor, Derek Terry, Catriona Thomas, Keith Thomas, Ebony Raven Thompson, Michaela Thompson, Taylor Caitlin Thompson, Keisha Tibbs, Nalisha Todd, Lauren Adrian Turner Bryant, Tamika Richardson Tyus, Tabitha Van. Donovan Barnell, Renata Vassar, Stanley Walls, Sydney Shanice Watson, William Hunter Watson, Bobby Jean Watt, Jalen Webb, Keenan Whiting, Bobby Neal Wilson, Teron Wilson, Latoya Chantrice Woods, Tyler Woods, Victoria Regina Wright, Brianna Monique Young, David Young. And now for the College of Life and Physical Sciences. Venencia Akins, Dina Yuzri Assad, Tierra Renee Blevins, Raven Borum. Robin Borum, Cordarius Bush, Jaquita Chatrice Jadine Christian, Lacey DiOrio, Desiree Fuentes, J.R. Kimanji Gundi, Hana Hajani, Ray Anthony Hill, Jewel Johnson. Nahel Laporte, 
Vonier Laster, Caleb Mathis, Sherry Boutros Neuros, Maya Nowell, Denacia Robinson, Carol Saleh, Najwa Sanders, Tamara Thomas, Anisha Walker, Lindia Walker. And now for the College of Public Service. Justin Andrews, Jessica Childers, Krista Lynn Cothran, Brianna Edwards, Charity Ann Gardner, Christina Rochelle Gold, Brittany Nicole Greer, Brandon Matthew Hawkins, April Hillary, Cecile Elizabeth Jones, Sophia Marsani, Justin Montgomery, Daryl Pascal, Narketa Patterson, Passion Arjanelle Ray, Alexandra Seward Benin, Lakeisha Lachey Smith, Rachel Reese Smith, Alexis Swafford, Lauren Thompson, Galia Villagrana, Chalia Ward, Lanisha Washington. Hey, congratulations class of 2020. I'm Artist Twyman, Senior Director of Communications for the Los Angeles Rams and proud Tennessee State University graduate from 1996. First off, I just wanted to let you guys know your hard work and dedication have paid off and don't let these unusual times that we're living in diminish any of that. Second, you are closing the chapter to one book, one book, but you are about to embark on an entire new journey. The head coach of the Baltimore Ravens just told a recent story about his grandfather, who was a horrible driver. He came home one day and his side view mirror was ripped off. He asked his grandfather, hey, what happened to the side view mirror? He said, ah, I don't need that. I don't need to see where I've been. I just need to see where I'm going. Focus on where you are going. You entered Tennessee State University to learn. Now it's time to go forth and serve. When I was a student at Tennessee State, I was a communications major, and it prepared me to be successful in this field. Some of the things I've learned, the skills and techniques I learned in the communications department, I use to this very day. Now, I know you guys are going to miss Tennessee State. I miss Tennessee State, but my most fond memory was my very first homecoming when I was a freshman. To see all the students, the alumni from 10, 20, 50 years ago, it let me know that, hey, Tennessee State was more than just a university, more than a school, but a family. So family, again, congratulations on this outstanding feat. We are expecting big things from you, and I cannot wait to see what you have in store. Congratulations.
President Glover, I present Dr. Robbie Melton, Dean of the School of Graduate and Professional Studies, who will present candidates for graduate degrees. At this time, please join me in recognizing the candidates for the master's degrees. President Glover, the faculty of the School of Graduate and Professional Studies recommends these candidates from the College of Agriculture, the College of Business, the College of Education, the College of Engineering, the College of Health Sciences, the College of Liberal Arts, the College of Life and Physical Sciences, and the College of Public Service. These are presented to you now for conferring of the master's degrees. Thank you to our graduate dean, Dean Bobby Melton. By the authority vested in me by the state of Tennessee through the Tennessee State University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. And now for the Masters of College of Agriculture, Alicia Aldridge, Bandana Boussal, Victoria Darren, Jonathan Dixon, Samuel Gray, Binad Giwali, Bradley Nissen, Emily Nolan, Vivek Ajha, Aladepo Omosa, Madhav Parjuli, Linda Peter, Alexis Pig, Desiree Robertson, Angela Settles, Nicole Witzel. And now for the Masters from the College of Business. Akiyemi Alabi, John Barfield, Nathan Cooper, Dupriya Crane, Modu Dioff, Marlon Douglas, Cedric Duncan, Brooke Edestad, Cloet Forbus, Eric Forstall, Aaliyah Gray, Nura Guzman, Brooklyn Ham, Christine Hawkins, Jordan Lungroth, Fadi McKell, Elizabeth Overton, Sierra Perkins, Lexis Phillips, Ronald Portes, Zachary Reagan, DeQuantes Sandifer, Nikiksa Singh, Frederick Speller, David Stevenson, Tierra Stokes, Matthew Taylor, Stephen Wade, Alexis Wright Davis, Megan Wu, Sammy Zaki. And now for the Masters of the College of Education. Danielle Alessandrino, Taisha Bailey, Donita Cook, Brittany Jones, Micheline McKinney, Brittany Peebles, Sean Price, Travis Richards, Jordan Thomas, Cedric Tyus, April Wilson. And now for the Masters from the College of Engineering, Muhammad Adel Al Salal. Chanal Shantari, Nitish Choresha, Gul Karakok, Luis Ledizima, Satyaki Nan, David O'Shea Asare, Yusama Saham, Mahamu Talman, Minhi Yi, Chang Zhang, 
And now for the Masters for the College of Health Sciences. Megan Adams. Chelsea Also. Tracy Amadio. Amy Arnold. Shamira Barrett. Bailey Berry. Elizabeth Bashan. Michael Black. Amelia Bowen. Delaney Burton. Haley Burton. Kristen Clinton. Blaine Coffey. Tiffany Colvin. Latoya Cook. Janie Cowan. Evelyn Cox. April Doyle. Amanda Frank. Sarah Fricker. Nicole Gale. Haven Greer. Tamikia Hall. Michael Hamilton. Vanessa Haslaw. Kiana Holloman. Chandra Holmes. Catherine Hurst. Rebecca Kaiser. Danielle Cardone. Cassandra Machia. Aaron Massman. Angela McCallie. Virginia Monahan. Kimberly Moore. Isabel Morgan. Michael Nalani. Samantha Nunamaker. Cassie Oliver. Kiana Ashimaha. Anna Owens. Stephanie Owens. Kimberly Palmer. Lindsey Rains. Arlena Richardson. Christy Saladino. Chastity Shepard. Kimberly Simpson. Kayla Smith. Lauren Statham. Gabrielle Stepnik. Megan Storns, Kevin Tetjong, Emma Wary, Erica Williams, Geraldton Woods, Emily Young. And now for the Masters of the College of Liberal Arts, Ariel Howard, Brittany Pope, Miosha Rochelle, Lisa Smith. And now for the Masters in the College of Life and Physical Sciences. Aliyah Alkala, Lemya Alshamari, Latoya Daniel, Adrian Harris, Brittany Miles, Jayla Moore, Naveen Solomon, and now for the Masters of the College of Public Service. Ceci Obo, Linda Adimusu, Ashley Anderson, Laura Baker, Timothy Belcher, Valerie Burgess, Cynthia Casagrande, Lauren Cecile, Michelle Cole, Anna Lee Cothron, Mitchell Curry, Dina El Rafai, Lauren Fields, Edward Francis, Jeremiah Frazier, Melanie Garner, Joshua Graham, Hugh Hammer, Matthew Hancock, Andrea Hanna, Michelle Hill, Sarah Hodges, Mark Holliday, Ashley Holland, Jonathan Howard, Toreen James, Kira Johnson, Tiffany Johnson, Cornelia Jones, Jeremy Jones, Alicia Jordan, Wanda Jordan, Erica King, Nicholas Kovac, 
Isabel Langham, Mark Lewis, Adam Mansell, Sandra Mays, Tony Mays, Ian McEwen, Tina McKinney, Melissa Muncy, Dominique Parks, Latanya Ray, Robert Reburn, Tracy Reese, Mark Reynolds, Anthony Richardson, Farah Rogers, Eleanor Sadiq, Terika Sampson, Kiana Scrubs, Lakin Shatuck, Jacob Silverthorne, Russell Stray, Sheila Sudeth, Tina Swift, Danielle Taylor, Brandon Vittable, Alexis Warren, LaShondra Watson-Williams, Nicole Whitted, Thomas Wilder, Denise Young, Please join me in recognizing the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Education, and Education Specialist degrees. President Glover, the faculty of the School of Graduate and Professional Studies, recommends that these candidates from the College of Education, the College of Engineering, the College of Life and Physical Sciences, and the College of Public Service. These are presented to you now for conferring of degrees. Thank you to our graduate dean, Dean Robbie Melton. By the authority vested in me by the state of Tennessee through the Tennessee State University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. This is to acknowledge that this is a symbolic hooding as the chairs recognize their doctoral students. And now for the doctors of College of Agriculture. Dr. Xiang Jian, the title of her dissertation, Evaluation and Improvement of the Microbial Enzyme Decomposition Model Against Multiple Incubation Experiments. Dr. Pooja Reddy Yanuga. And now for the doctors of the College of Education, Dr. Latricia Adams, Dr. Aaron Carney, dissertation, Help Seeking When Feeling Suicidal, The Impact of Socioeconomic Status. Dr. LaRonda Coffin, Dissertation, The Perceptions of General Educators' Preparedness and Ability to Provide Academic Core Instruction to Students with Learning Disabilities in Inclusive Classrooms. Dr. Ecton Chinyanga, Dissertation, Economic Impact of the New Federal Salary Policy in Higher Education. Dr. Latasha Chisholm, Dr. Aaron Connors, dissertation, moderators of the Subjective Wellbeing Values Association, Dr. Keisha Cox, Dr. Tyrone Crump, Dr. Phyllis Danner, dissertation, disparities in enrollment, funding, and advanced degree patterns between historically black colleges and universities and predominantly white institutions, a replication study. Dr. Napoleon Harris, Dissertation, Exploring Donor Motivation at a Southern HBCU, Turning Strong Sentiment into Strong Financial Support. Dr. Kimberly Haas, Dissertation, The Use of the Act Assessment in Predicting Student Mathematical Readiness for College Dual Enrollment Math. Dr. Katherine Johnson, Dissertation, A Qualitative Study of How Childhood Trauma Shapes Adult Life. Dr. Lois Jones, Dissertation, Pathways to Successful Reintegration, The Lived Experiences of African-American Female Veterans. 
Dr. Rachel Joseph, dissertation, Minority Stress of Black LGBTQIA Students Attending in HBCU. Dr. Rihanna Cayley, dissertation, Contemporary Dating Experiences Through an Attachment Lens. Dr. Martha Knowles, dissertation, the relationship among supervision characteristics and perceived self-efficacy of school psychologists. Dr. Beverly McDonald Robinson, dissertation, a case study regarding the short tenure and high turnover rates of African-American female presidents at historically black colleges and universities. Dr. Anita Magaha, dissertation, an investigation of strategic academic leaders' awareness and readiness to adopt a universal design for learning at a historically black college and university. Dr. Arlene Nicholas Phillips, dissertation, leadership awareness of open educational resources for educational access and affordability at a university in the West Indies. Dr. Brittany Singleton, dissertation, teaching English language learners, a case study. Dr. Karen Teeters, dissertation, Stretching our understanding of anger, psychological inflexibility as a predictor of problematic anger in trauma populations. Dr. Mincy Thomas, dissertation. Cultivating student success, a model for building and sustaining transformational partnerships. Dr. Diamonique Townsend, dissertation. Understanding African-American marital experiences, stressors, resources, and couple interactions. Dr. S.C. Vaughn, Dr. Denethia Williams, Dissertation, Strategic Education Planning, Empowerment of an Urban Hispanic Diverse Community in the Southeast. Dr. Lathelia Young, Dissertation, Measuring Self-Efficacy, Motivation, and College Adjustment Among African-American Males in Higher Education. And now for the doctors of the College of Engineering. Dr. Kasim Abu al Haja, Dissertation, Development of an Intelligent IoT Attacks Detection System Using Non-Traditional Machine Learning Techniques. Dr. Kyra Bryant. Dr. Mohammed Rahman, Dissertation, Resilient Design of Cloud-Based Control Systems Against Cyber Attack. And now for the doctors of the College of Life and Physical Sciences. Dr. Ekundeyu Adeleke, Dissertation, Effects of Organic Amendments and Commercial Mycorrhizal Fungi on Switchgrass Biomass Production in Degraded Soils. Dr. Daniel Demisi, Dissertation, Genome-Wide Association Studies and Genetic Diversity in Andean, Mesoamerican, and Combined Gene Pool Collections of Dry Beans for Control of Biotic and Abiotic Stresses. Dr. Kala Karim, Framework Studies of Physical, Chemical, and Biological Contaminants in Drinking Water and Watersheds in the United States and Comparison to Global Water Quality. Dr. Ravneet Kaur, Dr. Collins Kwatenge, Dr. Boniface Kimathi, Dissertation, Transcriptome Analysis and Characterization of Long Non-Coding RNAs in Chicken Adipose Tissue. Dr. Santaj Tapa, Dissertation, Identification, Characterization, and Structural Analysis of Genes Encoding Cellulitic and Xylanolytic Activity Isolated from Goat Rumen Bacterial Metagenomes. And now for the doctors of the College of Public Service. Dr. Robert Marioni. Hello, my TSU family. I am Samantha Thomas, a 2015 graduate of the Tennessee State University, a former Miss TSU, and a former member of the world-class aristocratic dance. And I just came to say, congratulations, class of 2020. You did it and you rocked it at that. I am so, so proud of you for making it this far. You have weathered so many storms during this time. The storms of COVID, the social unrest that black people have had to endure as black people are dying at the hands of police, a crazy political climate, dealing with your family, dealing with your personal lives, 
and you still made it to this moment. And I hope that TSU was nothing but a safe haven to you during this time. So I just came to say shout out to y'all because you rocked it, okay? And I just really want to encourage you to go out in the world with pride. TSU pride. Know that you have a top education. Know that TSU gave you hustle. It gave you tenacity and it gave you heart. I'm so, so proud of you. And I want to encourage you to never forget TSU. Never forget the memories that you made. Never forget the people that changed your life. And never forget to think, work, and serve. Congratulations. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family and friends. You did it. And don't forget to join an alumni chapter. Congratulations, y'all. Now, speaking on behalf of Tennessee State University National Alumni Association Incorporated, I call up on the association's president, Mr. Charles Galbraith, to provide the alumni induction. Today, the golden sunshine spreads across the country into many hearts and homes. To Dr. Glover, faculty, staff, alumni, family, friends, and to the triumphant class of 2020, Greetings, I am Charles H. Galbraith, Jr., the 26th president of the Tennessee State University National Alumni Association. It is my honor to administer the oath that inducts you into the Tennessee State University alumni experience. Tiger graduates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I hereby fervently pledge my lifelong loyalty, service, and financial support to my alma mater in appreciation for the opportunities afforded me at Tennessee State University. I pledge to maintain active membership in the National Alumni Association to encourage others to attend Tennessee State University and to become a part of a global society of notable alumni who promote excellence as a way of life. I further pledge to exemplify the high ideals of my alma mater and to continue to hold fast to the university's motto, think, work, serve. Congratulations to receive your gift visit www.tsualumnionline.org to activate a one-year complimentary membership to the Tennessee State University National Alumni Association. Enjoy your special day. I'm Ralph Boston, class of 1962, biochemistry major and had thoughts of going into medicine. I was a 1960 Olympic long jump champion, uh, part of that group that TSU sent to Rome. I believe there were nine, 10 of us counting the coach. Uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. And I have no idea where I would be without it. Congratulations, graduates. Uh, you have some letters behind your name, TSU, that you can be proud of as long as you are on the face of the earth. Congratulations. My hat's off to you. Thank you.
Great God, we pause to give you thanks and to give you praise for the joyousness of this day. We pause to invoke your spirit's presence at the completion of this wonderful celebration. We pause, God, to thank you for the way that you have strengthened and sustained each of these graduates and how you have prepared them to face the challenges of the world. And God, we give you thanks and we give you praise for being that kind of God. Thank you that you are a God who finishes everything you start. Thank you that you are a God who brings us to the completion of everything that you have set out for us to do in this life and in this world. And God, as we come to the end of this graduation celebration, we now pray the final blessing, the benediction upon the lives of those who have worked so diligently and so hard, God, to be at the place where they are today. Thank you, God, for a place of celebration. Thank you, God, for families who have come from near and from far to celebrate, God, the completion of this journey. Thank you, God, for students who have stayed the course and have finished, oh God, the task that you have set before them. God, we give you thanks and we give you praise for this graduation celebration on today. Thank you, God, for commencement. For indeed, commencement says to us that a course of study has been completed, and now that they are at the end of this journey, they are about to begin, God, what life has set before them. So many, oh God, are the skills that have been learned and completed in this, in this, in this educational process. They have completed courses in psychology and sociology and, and God, engineering, but now God, you have set before them, God, the task of commencing or beginning the work of making the lives of your people better. You have set before them, oh God, and you are expecting them to commence making lives more beautiful. You have set before them making their families more beautiful, their communities more beautiful, their cities more beautiful, their country more beautiful. So much is the work ahead of us, God, in the aftermath, even of this election and this transition and what we are up against in the future. And so, God, we just want to thank you for graduation and thank you for completion and thank you that you will now give them the courage and the strength to commence doing that which you have assigned for their hands to do. And so, God, in the name of Jesus, I pray this final blessing, this final benediction upon each graduate. I pray that you would grant them the courage, the courage to confront, God, the challenges that lay ahead, courage to override their fears and deal with the uncertainty and the risk and the emotional challenges that are ahead of them. I pray for courage today because indeed courage gives them the strength to develop the integrity, the character that is needed, oh God, for longevity in whatever career they choose to follow. And so God, we ask your blessing. We ask you to bless them in the name of Jesus. We ask you to bless them in their going out and in their coming in. We ask you to bless them when they are tired and give them strength. Bless them, oh God, to be the people that you have called them to be. And God, we will not fail to give you the praise. And now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, may that God make you all perfect in every good work, working in you that which is well-pleasing in God's sight. To the only wise God, our Savior, be dominion and majesty and power now, henceforth, and forever. And all of God's people together says, Amen and Amen. God bless you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.